Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Sunfield's Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories Let's Play. So, as you all know, the editing is going to be different from now on for the rest of this Let's Play, uh, rest of this game, and for any other game that's going to be played on the PlayStation 2 console due to the upscaling device, I believe is what it is, uh, that I had gotten for it to make the game look better. Because, you know, 480p compared to 1080p, you know. So... In this video, as you know, with every Grand Theft Auto game, there are tons of hidden objects, like hidden packages and such. Um, you know, the last one I did, which was, what was it, Vice City, there was like 100 hidden packages, which were technically statues. This one, there are another 100 hidden packages, which are like these weird hand charms. They look like this, but they have like a little chain hanging from it. Um, yeah, they're going to be all over the city, and of course, there's three islands, and with the first one we are in, uh, was it Portland, I believe? Uh, there, are, we are only able to find 35 of them for the time being, because the other ones are just gonna be too difficult to get to, and of course we have to wait till the other two islands open up before we can go on and start collecting some more of those. So it's gonna be you know section by section by section as the let's play goes on. So without further ado, let's get to them. Okay, so we're gonna start up north of Portland Island. We're gonna drive north along this road that curves west. You'll be passing by these guys who are protesting the bridge being built, so do watch out for them because they will chase you down as soon as you pass by. However, if you keep moving or take them out, then you don't have to worry. Make a right at the end and then a left to the guardhouse on the right hand side at the very end of the road. Inside the structure will be our first hidden package. Now we're going to head back east just a little, but then go off road to the south and onto this dirt track. As you can see, I placed the waypoint for where the package should roughly be. Paying attention to my radar and the screen itself, go to the section of the track with the raised railway just ahead. Get out of your vehicle and head onto the grass to find the second hidden package. Now for our third hidden package, we're going to continue heading east and into the junkyard lot where we'll see a car crusher. Go just behind it on either side and jump over either piston, I guess is what they are. I don't know. Anyway, just jump over these things to get the package. Okay, so the fourth one will require us to do a bit more work. If you don't want to do it like how I do it, I understand right now. Uh, just don't forget that you skipped this one. So what we'll need to do first is go to the hospital to attend an ambulance, or if you don't mind getting a wanted level, you can take out several people and try to get an ambulance to come to you. Either way, the hospital is near the southern side of Portland, right next door to the police station, and above the slanted rectangular road section on your map. Now, if the ambulance is not there, which should be on the southern side of the hospital parking lot, then drive a short distance away and then come back and hopefully have it spawn. Now, just to let you know, I did find driving past the curve south and onto the next road usually worked for me. Now, however you tame the ambulance, drive it back north to the AM gas station in Hardwood, just south of the car crusher that we were at for the third one. Now you have to be careful with this next part. Drive to the northern side of the station, then carefully back up the ambulance so the back wheels are over the railing. Make sure it's more or less centered with the roof section that stands over the station pumps. The front of the vehicle should be slanted a little towards the roof. Okay, so now when you feel it's all safe and good, get out, then jump onto the hood of the ambulance, then up to the back side. Walk slowly to line yourself up first, then run and jump onto the station pump roof section where the fourth package sits. The fifth package is nowhere near as annoying to obtain. Take a new vehicle to the northern road, same one where the ambulance was used, and just continue east and follow the dirt road. At the bomb shop, drive between the buildings, just past the bus and to the stack of cars in the far corner. Inside one of the cars is the package. Jump in and get it. Now the six is another easy one, thankfully. Drive back out to the lot and we will be going towards the northeastern section of the island. Drive north to this large cement section next to the water and follow it east off the end, not into the water. Once you reach the end, get out and follow the wall of the cement section for the package. So this next package, as I like to call it, is a mid-difficulty one to obtain. If you can, try to steal a Sanchez motorcycle, which is considered the off-road bike. If you're able to find one, that's fine. 
Either way, drive south until we reach the top buildings, then make a left to head up east and back into the driveway of Salvatore's home. Go to the edge of the wall from its driveway and carefully drive east while on the grass or depart from your vehicle and go on foot towards the top of the natural land formation behind the house. On foot for sure now, carefully head down to the package, then carefully head back up without falling off. Okay, so for our eighth, we're going to stay up top and travel along the cliffside behind the buildings and past the driveway. The package will be about halfway down the sloped cliffside, so be careful when you head down again so as not to fall off. Okay, so now we're going to head more into the city. Head about one-fourth west down the second road from the north on the eastern side, as you see in the video. You'll come to a slanted driveway that goes south to the next road. However, instead of going through, carefully drive along the raised ledge surrounding the southern building to the tight alley on the other side. There will be a ramp going down into a small lot with the package. Well, guess what everyone, we need another ambulance. After obtaining one, whichever way you like, drive north and into our safe house lot. You may have noticed a small structure attached to the building. What you need to do is back the ambulance up to the structure, then jump onto the roof for the 10th package, which will unlock the pistol at our safe house, which is where we are at now, so pick it up to be armed if you like. Also, you can save here as well. For our 11th hidden package, simply leave the lot and make a left to the end of the road. Once there, make a right and then an immediate left where there will be a construction lot. Go into this lot and you'll come to a couple of trailers. Go between the trailers and the fencing to find the package. Get into the 12th package, drive through the lot, then make your way to the western main road, then into this little lot. Those of you who have played GTA 3 will know this lot as a safe house area. When in, go to the back corner where there will be a couple of dumpsters. Behind these dumpsters is the package. Thirteen is not far away. Just go back out to the main western road and head south just a little to the raised medium planter. Within the planter will be the package closest to the most southern bush. Now go south and make the first left to the end. Make another left, then a right into the only alleyway along this long block of buildings. Go through the opening in the fence on your left and you'll find the 14th package against the fence. For the 15th, head east two roads and on the eastern side of the second road, look west to see a small ramp going onto the rooftop. You'll see a bribe just ahead which is used if you need to lower your one level by one star. Either way, drift right to find the package between some dumpsters. Okay, so now we're going to head south and then make a left on the last road that goes up to the east. At the curve, head to St. Mark's Bistro, which we should know this building very well by now from San Andreas and Vice City. So go up the stairs to the second floor patio, which will be the package. However, also go up to the third to get a knife for our melee weapon. Now head to the other side of the curve where we'll see a station platform for the raised railway. Just south of it will be a steep staircase going downhill. Instead of going down, follow the wall on the left to the end where a track support pillar will be and we'll be able to get the package. For 18, we will need a PCJ 600 motorcycle. If you do not see one on the road, there is always one parked at Salvatore's Mansion's lot. Once you obtain one, head further south to Portland Harbor and know that there are some more protesters at the entrance to save the ferries. So like the group from the first package, they will chase after you once you pass them to try and beat you up. So keep watch while traveling around the harbor for any packages we obtain within. Alright, so once you're in, head north within the harbor lot and then face east like I'm showing here on the map. The target is where the package is, but what we need to do is ramp onto some warehouse rooftops and go across to get it. Hey, guess what? Now we'll need another ambulance. Yay! <laughs> All right, so head back, grab some health if you lost any from the protesters or from crashing and get into the ambulance. 
Back to the harbor, drive to the very end on the most eastern edge. Here you'll see stacks of multicolored shipping containers close to this edge. Drive to the southern side with the single red one sticking out. Back up to the yellow one just behind it. Then climb on to the top of the yellow one and grab the 19th package. Now if you want, go ahead and get another PCJ600 to make travel easier. Either way, back in the harbor, drive or run up the large stairway wrapping around the large southern warehouse. On the roof will be the 20th package near the edge in front of an air conditioning ventilation system. For this, we will obtain the shotgun weapon at our safe house. Huzzah! Alright, now know for this one, I did make a mistake of abandoning my motorcycle at the edge of the harbor. Do not do that. In fact, if you want, save first, just in case something happens. Anyway, head to the smaller boat just south of the warehouse we were on. Try and ramp onto it with your PCJ. And then you can get off and run up the stairs from the eastern side. Now at the split, actually make a left, not a right as you see me doing in the video, as it is faster to get to the package on the walkway closest to the water. Now from here, you should be able to get back onto your bike and ramp off the boat, I think it's on the western side or something like that, and safely back onto the harbor. Obviously I could not do that, and thus drowned. So now I guess since we're here, know that when you do get wasted, you are sent to the hospital where they'll take some money and all of your weapons. Whatever happens, head back to the harbor. The 22nd package will be the last one we need within the harbor area. For the boat we got the previous package from, follow the edge of the harbor south behind some station truck trailers. Between the last two will be the package. Now we'll head to the Atlantic Keys area, just to the eastern side of the line of buildings where the V mission icon is. Between the dumpsters is the package. Easy enough. Twenty-four is close by as well, which will be at the end of the larger pier right behind the mission marker. Now obviously do not go into the marker and be very careful when you grab the package so as not to fall into the water and drown. The next one will be within the bus depot, located at the corner of the intersection just after the sharp curve going east on the road from the mission's buildings. Watch the video if you need to. The opening to the depot is from this curved road. Once in, go along the right wall to the door of the office building for the package. For 26, we'll once again need an ambulance, but it will be the last time for this session. So when you get one, take it to the slanted rectangular section of roads. At the southern corner is where we need to go. There is a large U-shaped office building with a Faggio, Faggio, Faggio parked in the lot and a smaller trailer at the tip of one end. Back the ambulance to the trailer, then hop from the ambulance to the trailer, then to the rooftop just behind, being wary of the gap, for the package. So this one will require us to have a motorcycle. Now do not make the mistake I did of taking the one parked on the station platform as it starts a side mission race. Instead, take one from the road or do what I did and grab another PCJ from Salvatore's Matchet. However you obtain one, drive it to the race station on the southern side of the Southern High Roadway, which is basically across the street from Mark's Bistro, and then make a left onto the tracks and try to stay in the central area to be safe from the trains that may pass by. I'm sorry for the chirping in the background, that is my roommate's parakeets, shut up. So when you get to the slanted rectangular roadway and see the factory with the smokestack on top, carefully ramp off onto the roof. Between the signs is the smokestack. Between the signs and the smokestack will be the package. Shut up birds, you're making me lose my concentration. 28 is an easier one to obtain, but can be hard to see. 
Go behind the police station to a section of trees and bushes. Move slowly as you look around and eventually you will come to the package. Right, so 29 is on a ledge at the back side of the hospital. Go up the stairway between the hospital and the police station, then up the steep grassy slope to the top. Get onto the cement flat top ledge close to the hospital and follow it around the back to the package. The 30th one is very easy compared to the last several we've done. Just go into the small lot directly across from the hospital. Turn right and you'll see the package on the other side of the vehicle. So now we have unlocked the body armor at our safe house. Yeah! And just five more to go for this run. Great, now my neighbors are playing music, which I can hear through the wall, so now my concentration is going to be shite. Anyway, so from the lot, follow the road south and curve west. We'll come upon a small lot with a square planter in the center. Within this planter is the package. This next one can be a little dangerous to get to, but not entirely. Drive up the closed bridge that goes towards Staunton Island, and looking at your radar, go to just before the final road below. Look over the railing, and you'll see a crossbeam with the package in the center. Carefully go onto it to obtain the package, then hop back over. 33 is an easy one to obtain, as it's in a small square-shaped back alley or lot within Chinatown. It's in the northeastern corner of this lot, or alley. Alright everyone, so these last two can be annoying or dangerous to obtain, so what I do suggest is getting your PCJ600, or if you don't have one, get a new one from Salvatore's Mansion, and uh, taking it, parking it in your safe house garage, collecting what you've unlocked so far, and then going to save just to be on the safe side in case you die or something happens, you know, some big mistake happens or whatever. Because it has happened to me before. And then you can just reload instead of being sent back to the hospital or whatever. So anyway, do that. And then we're going to continue on with 34 and 35, the last two of this section. All right, so after saving, head back west, passing the main road, the grassy strip, and onto the large cement walkway right next to the water. Our goal is to get far back, then head north while dodging people or weaving around and whatever, and ramp up the southern stairway that leads to the train station platform and land on the roof of the station. Most likely we'll get knocked off our bike, but as long as our body lands on the roof, we can get the package as is what I had done. Finally, we are at our last package that we can attain for this segment, and is probably a little more annoying than the previous one, but just a little. So head south on the grassy strip close to the roadway. Eventually you'll come to a cement ramp that faces the closed bridge. Our goal for this is to quickly drive down the strip, angle just slightly right, and land on the crossbeam under the bridge. It will most likely take several tries, and if your PCJ explodes, get a new one and keep trying. The 35th package is on the center of the beam. And that will be it for this video everyone, we should now be at 2% towards 100% completion of Liberty City Stories. Next up, more annoyance, but as always, it is necessary. I love you all, peace out, until next time, adios!